Hi, it's Pastor Paul Anderson here at the Fountain of Raleigh Fellowship, where we believe God's blessings never stop flowing. It is Satisfaction Saturday. It is that day during the week that we're at the last day of the week, and we're so grateful that God has kept us. But let's remember to pray for all families who are going through difficult times. Uh, we're still seeing in the news what's happening in New Orleans and what's happening all over as we have seen hurricanes and tornadoes make their way all up and down the Gulf Coast, the East Coast. Let's continue to reach out in love and compassion. Uh, let's give not only of our time, uh, not only of our resources, uh, but also remember, it's always a great time. The Red Cross needs your help to donate blood and for us to extend kindness to others because, you know, you never know when it could be us. So on this Satisfaction Saturday, being satisfied and knowing that God will supply and meet not only your needs, but also the needs of others. And sometimes we are the hand that delivers it to others. Today, look with me into the text out of Ecclesiastes. The first chapter, verses 1 through 18. Very powerful text. This comes out of what we call the wisdom literatures. And, and so the writer of Ecclesiastes began to tell us that everything seems so meaningless. He says the sun rises, then it sets, and then uh, the tide goes out, it comes back. The water from the ocean goes into the rivers that goes into the tributaries that seem to flow back into the place that it's come from. It's just a cycle of going over and over and over. And he begins to say it's also mundane. It's also meaningless. It just seems to happen over and over again. He said nothing ever seems to change. And so he begins to ask himself the question, what is the purpose in life? You know, when things are just the way they are and they continue to be that way, What's the point? What's the use? Well, in this text, he begins to help us to to say that uh, there is nothing new under the sun. Even when you think it's something new, it's already been here. You just finally got exposed to it yourself. You know, this becomes the words of someone who has seen so much of life and who has begun to experience more. But for some reason, he seemingly has lost his zest for life. You know, as he goes to the text, he talks about wisdom and he says that the more that I learn, uh, the more heartbroken I am. Uh, the more that I know, the more troubled life seems to be. But, you know, when we listen to this text, it begins to remind us how we should consider viewing life. You know, the more that we know and the more that we live, it should cause us to grow greater and greater in our love relationship with God and with those around us. Because it reminds us time is brief. You know, the Bible tells us that our life is just so brief. And since it is so brief, we should make the best and the most of our time. You know, here, uh, the person who writes this passage to us, he talks about um, all of these things just seem to go on and on and on and on. People die, people come onto the scene, then they die. It just seems so meaningless. But the thing about it is that life is not meaningless. Life can be meaningful when you have God in the mix. I don't know about you, but because Christ, who is my Savior, my Lord, since he's come into my life, life is always new. It's always something fresh. It's always something for us to begin to do. When we begin to think about how good God has been to us on this Satisfaction Saturday, we can be satisfied in knowing not only will he supply all of our needs, but he'll give us the desires of our hearts. And even as the sun rise and the sun set, we should say, God, I thank you for allowing me see the wonderful, bright, sunrise of a new day and then allowing me to see the sunset. What beautiful majesty that God has given to us for us to have eyes that we can see what's going on, for us to have hands to be able to touch, for us to have a, a, a mouth to be able to articulate what God has given to us, to be able to smell the freshness in the air. Now, I don't know about you, but it's, it's, it's soon to be autumn and that will take place next week. But I just love to see how the leaves change color. Don't like raking them, don't like cleaning them up or blowing them, but guess what? It's just so much beauty and allows us to see how God is just doing great and marvelous things. As the world has its cycle, as the world changes, as it turns, we must remember that God wants us to always be in the cycle from the rising of the sun to the going down of the same, giving him the glory, the honor, and the praise. So I want to remind you today, life is not meaningless, but life is meaningful. Whenever we are full of God's grace, God's mercy, and God's love, it gives a whole new branch of meaning to life. And so today, branch out. 
Touch those things that you've never touched before. Reach out to people that you've never met before. And you'll begin to see how life can be seen so wonderful and so different. And now, since we're doing so much and so many things virtually, there is no limits to where you can go if you only take your mind. And if you only take your mouse, you can get to where you need to go. And I'm talking about your mouse on your computer to guide you to places that you've never seen before. May God bless you. May heaven smile upon you. Make life meaningful and give God all the praise. To sow a seed to the Fountain of Raleigh Fellowship, visit our newly redesigned website, thefountainofraleigh.org, and select Sow a Seed from the homepage. Also, giving has been made easier with the new Fountain of Raleigh app, available now in the Apple App Store and Google Play Store. Download today, select Giving from the main menu, and then follow the directions to complete your giving through Subsplash. Thank you so very much for all of your gifts and donations that you've given to the Fountain of Raleigh Fellowship. We thank you for what you've done in the past, what you're currently doing, and what you will do in the future. Your gifts and donations helps us to spread the gospel of Jesus Christ, not only locally, but throughout the world. Thank you again for your gifts, and may God continue to richly bless you. It is here at the Fountain that we believe that we are exceedingly and abundantly blessed, and may you receive those blessings that God has in store for you. Okay.